Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a Walmart haul of hair and skin, kinda. Walmart hog. Haul. Hog. What? Anyway, um, if I can get this video up before Thanksgiving, then happy Thanksgiving. If not, just pretend like I didn't say that. Okay, okay. Um, I would have not taken this I would have taken this hat off, but um, underneath my hair looks like a tragedy, so I'm gonna spare myself your laughter. Anyway, so first thing I got was Burt Bees. This is their nourishing lip balm with mango butter. Oh my goodness. Yes. This, at my Walmart, it retailed for $2.97, and, uh, oh, it goes, it goes on, mm, so smooth, smells good, too. So, if you're in the neighborhood for a, a lip balm, Burt Bees, yes, winner in my book. Next thing I got was uh, Dove deodorant because I am a proponent of good hygiene. So, good hygiene, good hygiene, good hygiene. Yeah. <laughs> um, next thing I got was the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Skin Brightener Facial Cleanser. You can see. Oh, yeah. Pimple popping. I am notorious for that. So my skin also looks like a tragedy. So I've never tried this before. I'm going to see does it brighten your skin? Does it get rid of, you know, imperfections? Next thing I got was the Morning Glow Moisturizer, also by Clean and Clear. This is has sunscreen with SPF of 15. It's oil free, moisturizes dry skin, and instantly brightens skin. Woohoo! Oh, and it won't clog your pores. How wonderful. Um, also, I've never tried this. I finally found a moisturizer, so I'm really happy about this. Um, okay, now the rest is hair care products. So I have the Ouch Ouchless Head Breps. Um, I use these to do my puff. That's what these are for. Um, I bought the BB Foam Moisturizing Wrapping Lotion. It leaves your hair with Bounce beauty and body. Uh, can't wait. <laughs> I am going to be doing a review on this. I think I'm going to either do curl formers or I will be doing a perm rod set using this product. And I'll be comparing this with the next thing that I got, which was the Beautiful Textures Curl Control Defining Pudding. For mixed textures, curly, wavy, kinky, kinky, coily, and frizzy. And this says intense moisture. Okay. Um, I was, I saw their um, Tango Taming shampoo. However, that had a sulfate, and that sulfate was the second ingredient. So I had to say no, because no, I'm on that curly girl. So. Sorry, sulfate. Why? I was gonna buy you. But then you changed on me. So I had to say that. And I also saw their um, leave in conditioner. However, their leave in conditioner decided it wanted to have alcohol. I was like, really? I was gonna buy you. But no. Whatever. So this is the only thing that I saw that was curly girl friendly. Let me make sure. It does have glycerin in it. 
So if you don't like glycerin, then you don't like glycerin. Don't buy it. Whatever. Oh, I do see a cone. Trimethicone. Mm, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I'll still give it a try because it is the one, two, mm, is this three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, dang, that's not, the ten ingredients of dimethicone. All right, I'll be taking this back. Scratch that. I don't know why everything got a cone in it. So basically, I'll just be doing this for my review. And the last thing that I got was a satin cap. Because I lost mine. And I don't feel like trying to find it. Plus, my satin cap is ripping up anyway, so I might as well get another one. And that is all for my haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If questions, comments, concerns please leave it in the in the comment section or the comment section is acting too weird i do realize that the whole google plus comment thing is kind of retarded now so just you know message me via youtube thanks bye